how Dragon Ball Z fans are waiting for Spark and Zero by Mighty Keith. Yeah, man, Mighty Keith is back with another skit, man. Yo, that Spark and Zero presentation was phenomenal last time. For those who ain't seen it yet, bop, go ahead and check it out, man. Click, hey, watch, wait to watch this video first, then come back to this time step and click right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yo, we're gonna go ahead and get into the skit because I know it's gonna be funny. It's Mighty Keith. It's always funny. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. Mighty Keith. A what if scenario between Kefla and Broly? Pete! <laughs> Facts. One more time. What are these people talking about? They don't match this. These are gonna be in the base roster. Okay, you, you mash a little bit. Okay, okay, no, 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 wait a minute, hold on. Tenkaichi combat has always been designed to where you can mash your way through combos, but if you learn how to actually play the game, you're not mashing, you're actually, you know, doing the combos the way they're meant to be done. Like, kind of like fighters. You know, they made it for fighters where you could just spam the square button and do basic combos, but the people who actually learn to get good at Dragon Ball Fighters, you're not mashing buttons. So, no, 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 I, people calling this game a mash fest, no, 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 kiss my ass. It's 2024, and Birder's still talking about he's the fastest in the universe. <laughs> he's blue ass down. He wasn't even the fastest at the I don't time. Play you anymore? No, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! I'm not gonna let you do that! I'm not gonna let you do that! Xenoverse Two is still my goat. It's still my goat to this goddamn day. I suspect Sparking Zero to dethrone it, but ain't no damn not gonna play it no more. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, I'm still gonna play it. I can't wait for the PS5 version to drop next month, and when they eventually make Xenoverse Three, that shit is gonna be. Liddy. So I ain't gonna let you do that. But yeah, back to the Birder conversation. Uh, Characters in Dragon Ball do that all the time. Claim to be the fastest. Like, Dispo claims to be the fastest from his universe. But nigga, like, there's no way you're faster than Jiren. I know you're not faster than Jiren. So like, where you getting that from? He would just be saying that shit. You saw the character specific intros? <laughs> Chill on Xenoverse 2 though. These bean clashes. I don't have to buy different controllers every month? <laughs> <laughs> Put down the top. Hey, I was good with either one. I, I'll be matching fast as hell on, on bean clashes. God, this UI looks amazing. Controller conscious beam struggles, bro. Yeah. I knew my bank account couldn't take buying 20 controllers a week. Y'all niggas out here breaking y'all controllers. That was crazy. <laughs> I said yes. 30 copies. Dragon Ball games are back, baby! I can't believe it. never really went anywhere. Release day yet, man. Beam clashes? We are so <laughs> this nigga talking about they beam clashes. That chick that no one remembers in the game, bro. Kakusa. It's gonna have everyone. No, and, and, and that's my thing, man. People was talking down on Kakusa in the trailer. I think that's how you say her name, right? But when I mentioned that, oh, I don't give a fuck about Nam or people like Android 8 or General Blue being in the game, y'all y'all tried to get on me. No, I absolutely care about those characters. We do need those characters. They are vital characters to the story. But you don't care about Kakusa, though. You don't care about Kakusa, but you want General Blue? Who the fuck even remembers General Blue still? Android 8? He's not even a violent Android. He only fought because he had to. Man. Y'all can get out of my face with that bullshit. Environmental destruction. We are so back. Yes, sir. What if this is at Evo next year? Battle I doubt it, but that would be fire. We are so back. I mean, you never know. Let's be honest. You get hit by Nappa's ult, you are trash. <laughs> I'm going to call it right now. Ultimate Storm. Moro's going to be DLC for next year. Oh. What do you mean it's not a real fighting game? We got high-low mix-ups, too. Look at that. Hey, that. Oh, it's in the Twitter, bro. UI Goku's gonna be in the base roster. If not, I'll eat a box of I hope. I hope he is. <laughs> he's gonna be in the game. I just hope he's not DLC. You saw the trailer. You saw the team attacks. Uh huh. Tell me it's you and me. I'm playing his, so I don't even really care who else is in there. Looking at. I gotta play Super Trunks. Please give him Super Armor. Ain't no Super Stop Trunks. Tekken, bro. I'm trying to show you a real fighting game. Nah, bro, I'm gonna get cooked. Hold on, bro. I played Tenkaichi since I was 17. Remember all that? There's niggas to this day that still play those games. You yes, I have Tenkaichi 3 and Tenkaichi 4, like the modded version of Tenkaichi 3 made by a team that is super duper dedicated to making what would Tenkaichi 4 look like had it came out. They did a phenomenal job. I still play that shit all the time on my emulator, bro. So, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready. So I hope y'all ready, and I hope y'all ready for this content when the game drops. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's gonna be broken again? I can't even imagine what the DLC is gonna be, bro. He was like really good. Hundred thousand characters in the base roster. Farming is at hundred thousand. Better be playable. And I'm not joking. Oh my Honestly, god. I'm just waiting for Beerus to show up. I'm just glad they have Beerus gonna be crazy. As part of the Tenkaichi series. Now all those naysayers can go play in traffic. Uh huh. Don't let it just be one v ones. And they took mechanics from Raging Blast too, and not not Raging Blast two. Raging Blast two is an also as in as well. You know what I mean? But I mean it was from two because that's the one where you deflect your shit. Could you do that one? I don't remember. But all I was gonna say was <laughs> I said I did all that setup just to say you dumbasses that kept trying to make the claim that Raging Blast and Raging Blast two are not Tenkaichi games. How y'all feel now? How y'all feel now? I, bro, Raging Blast 
on the PS3 was supposed to be the evolution of the Tagachi series. That's what it was supposed to be. And Raging Blast 2 was the sequel to that. How the fuck was Raging Blast not a Tagachi game? They literally play exactly the same. They just changed the controls. And to be honest, in my personal opinion, some of y'all gonna get mad at myself with some toes. The control layout is better. It's more modernized. It makes a lot more sense. In the old PS, you know, PS2, take actually three, you hold circle to block. Triangle is the key blast. Circle and triangle is to do a weed mechanic. Things like that. That shit is really stupid. They changed so you block with R1. And now you can do, you know, double button presses. R1 in square was the weave mechanic. R1 in triangle was the hard counter. R1 in circle, I think, was like the, uh, was some sort of teleport or some shit. I think R1 in X was some sort of dash. I don't remember the exact controls. I ain't played Raging Blast in a minute. But, uh, and I do know that they changed the controls from being like, instead of L2 and triangle for your first super, L2 triangle and up, like what the fuck? They just made it, you flick the analog stick in different directions. They modernized the controls in a good way. I hope the controls still match that. I mean, maybe they'll make it so you can pick legacy controls. That would make sense. You'll, you'll probably better pick your control scheme, like legacy, your know, classic Tenkaichi or more modern Tenkaichi, Raging Blast type shit. I'm picking the Raging Blast controls though, because they just seem like they make more sense. Series. Now all those naysayers can go play in traffic. Please don't let it just be 1v1s. Give me some good online modes. Give me, Give me some crazy. Didn't they say it'll be only online? Modes. You heard it here first. No offline versus? That's so trash. Will be DLC characters. Everyone already came to that conclusion. Yeah. I'm the only one that thought about it. Future Gohan's back. I'm <laughs> Shut up, us. What are the chances <laughs> this will be competitively viable and have rollback netcode? The best game in the series. I don't know about all that. Budokai It'd be Tenkaichi nice though. 3. Why even ask me that? I, uh, I hear people laughing in the background. Why is that? It's Tenkaichi 3 now. I mean, okay, so. I got an opinion on that too. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the end, to the outro. This might also be just a little bit controversial right here, but it's been my personal opinion since Xenoverse 2 dropped. Okay, maybe not right when it dropped, but like a year or two later. For me, Xenoverse 2 dethroned Tenkaichi 3 a long time ago, bro. I don't care. Hey, y'all got y'all opinions? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to keep saying I don't care what y'all say, cause like y'all can give y'all opinions down in the comments if y'all want to. But in my personal opinion, as a person who still to this day plays Tenkaichi 3, and like I said, the better, more modern version of Tenkaichi 4. Type shit. I still believe that Xenoverse 2 was the best Dragon Ball game, bro. I, it's, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. I would pick it over all of the Dragon Ball games that exist right now, except for, I mean, this thing, Fighters is a fighting game. You can't, you, they coexist. They coexist. They're two different types. You know, Xenoverse 2 is an arena fighter. Fighters is a fighting game. So I wouldn't want it, I wouldn't get rid of Dragon Ball Fighters in favor of Xenoverse 2. But what I'm saying is when it comes to Dragon Ball Arena Fighters, like think I actually 3, Xenoverse 2 is the best one to me. Spark and Zero will replace it, in my personal opinion. It'll be better than Xenoverse 2. When Xenoverse 3 comes out, I don't know. It's gonna, it's gonna be a fight. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to wait on that. But hey, man, that's gonna do it for this skit, bro. Hey, the skit was short. It was like three minutes, but I talked a lot. <laughs> I had a lot to say during the goddamn skit. So I obviously lengthened the skit, man. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Make sure y'all check out my goddamn uh, reaction to the Dragon Ball shit. I'm gonna put it right there. It'll also be an annotation, like right here on the screen, something like this. You know what I'm saying? If y'all just wait like 10 seconds, for me to finish my damn outro. So all I love to this video, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we up out of this thing. It's your boy Dollar. We signing out. Thanks. Guys.